All right, this video, we're going to see how to make an official battery interrupter for a string of battery powered lights. So I'm going to hook this one up with a male cable so I can hook it directly to our Big Mac, which has the female receptor in it. Now, alternatively, you can hook it up to a female end to use like a jelly bean switch that has the male end coming out of it. But in this case, we're gonna do the Big Mac. So I've got the male end of my 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. Um, I used the female end in the Christmas tree video. So we need that, number one. We need a pair of scissors, electrical tape, a little piece of cardboard, a cardstock or something with just a little bit of thickness and um, stiffness to it. We need a metal file because we're going to use this to shave down some of the plastic in the battery pack just so our battery interrupter can sit in there nicer. And we need copper sticky back paper. So I got two big sheets on Amazon for nine bucks. And if we make battery interrupters, we can make a bazillion battery interrupters out of this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure our lights work, all right? We have an on-off switch. We can make an official battery interrupter with this. We have our mail cable. The two wires inside are already stripped. If you need introduction on that, see the Christmas tree video on how to make a plush toy switch adaptable. Now, we're gonna have to fit our battery interrupter into our battery pack, obviously. And you can put it into either end. I'm gonna put it into this end, the negative end on this side. So you want to just, let's clear some of this out of the way. rip a piece that's going to fit and you're going to cut this down multiple times but I'm just going to do a little circle what did I say down on this side let's zoom in I'm just going to see if this fits kind of all right so that does, that looks good. It'll fit in there. And we can always trim it more. Okay, so this is gonna be our base for the battery interrupter. Now all we gotta do is wire one side of the wire onto this side, and the other side onto this side. That's it, that's our battery interrupter. So again, I'm going to, I don't like that these aren't even. You can see the length of the coating. I did not cut it evenly. So I'm going to cut a little bit more off the red and I'll be right back. All right, so now the coatings are even. I trimmed some of the copper wire because it was a little long again and we're just going to test the length so again we want some of the coated wire to be on the cardboard on both sides so let's flip i still feel like this is a pinch long because we might be trimming the cardboard so i'm just going to trim back another little bit of the copper wire. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of the copper sticky back paper. And I have some random pieces. I'm just going to, it's not gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be perfect, but we're just gonna cut out in the shape 
of our cardboard. And again, our cardboard is arbitrarily cut into a circle. So this does not have to be pretty or perfect. There's one piece, and we're gonna cut for the other side. Oh, I keep going on the screen, but you guys know how to cut. Yeah, Carson is We've got our two sides. One side, two sides, and again, they're not perfect. But we're gonna trim everything up at the end, so it's not gonna really matter. So again, these are sticky backed. So I'm gonna peel. I'm gonna get it going, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got both of the sticky backs started peeling off. We're gonna take one side of the wire, copper wire, and we're gonna put it on a piece of cardboard. We're gonna peel the sticky back off, and we're gonna stick our copper paper on. Now we're overhanging, and just trim it up it over so we can see all that extra. We want to trim it off because we don't want this to touch the other side. I've done this a few times and I feel like it's just easier instead of killing yourself trying to make the circles perfect, just doing this, trimming once you get it on there. It's a lot easier. All right, so now we're going to stick the other wire on the other side. We're going to use our other piece, copper paper, and just stick it on. And again, it's not pretty. It doesn't even cover all the cardboard, but no big deal. And we're just going to trim it up. So it does not touch any of the copper on the other side. Oh, I keep going out of screen. I am sorry. All right, a little bit more. See that piece is folded bit over. Okay. All right, this is taking me forever, so I'm gonna trim it up and I'll come back. All right, so I made sure, I don't even know if you can see, that none of the copper from either side is touching the other side. All right, so now let's see if we can nicely fit this in to our battery pack. Nope. All right, so that looks like it fits pretty good. It's gonna stay in there. All right, so actually, let's test. I've got our male end. I'm gonna hook it into our Big Mac. Let's zoom out. All right, which one do we want? Switch, I think. Turn this on. So this is on, we're going to flip on the battery. This is the suspenseful part. Is it going to actually work? Carson's lights. All right, I might have it in the wrong outlet. Let's try that again. Carson's lights. All right, so it's working. We had to plug it into the toy appliance not the switch. All right, so we'll shut our Big Mac off. We know it works. Turn the power off. Then we're going to reinforce 
now the uh, the wires so it doesn't pull apart. So this is where we're just going to do a little bit of electrical tape. I'm going to use it just to help reinforce right in here to make it a little bit stronger. And again, it's not going to be pretty, but we need a little bit of extra security. Now you don't want to tape over, obviously, all of the copper because you're going to destroy what you just made. But we're going to just put a few pieces So now, let's put this back into our battery pack. Okay, so now, where's our battery pack case? Here's the pack. But obviously, we can't close it up nicely because now we've got this wire sticking out. So I'm going to use the, <clears throat> the metal file to just make an indentation in there. So we're going to pop this back out, get this out of the way. I'm actually going to pop both batteries out. And we're just going to rub. Let's get all this out of the way because we're going to make a mess. <clears throat> I'm just going to pull the file back and forth until I get that plastic into a nice little divot. Alright, so this is going to take a couple minutes. I'm going to do it. I'll be right back. Alright, so I filed some down. Let's see if it is going to work. You can see how much I took out but I feel like we're probably going to need to do the cap. I mean, it's... I made a nice little indent, but I think the way that this battery pack is... Yeah, so I'm just going to file off the lid a little bit, and we'll be right back. All right, so now I've filed a bit of the lid off. Let's see if this is gonna work. So I'm just pinching to make sure the tape, I might put an, another piece of tape on there. Thought I had another piece. All right, I'm gonna put a few more pieces of tape because I want the connection here to be strong. I don't want this to pull apart. And I am covering up some of the copper paper, but as long as we have a little bit showing that the battery is touching, it'll be fine. Whoop. All right, so let's try again. This is going to be enough. Flip the pack on. I just like cannot get this battery pack to pull up on it. Alright, well, it looks like I made a big enough hole. Let's try to force it in and we'll be back. Alright, so we've got the battery pack together. I think this is going to be good. You can always which I might actually do. I might just run some tape around here just to keep that connection a little bit more secure. All right, so I just ran the electrical tape around it a few times. Now, it's not like, Carson's not a big mover. He's, 
he's not gonna pull this apart. But with all the jostling and moving, because this string of lights is gonna go onto his feed pole. So we just wanna make sure we don't pull it apart. So now let's do a final test and pray that it works. So we'll hook it up to the toy appliance thing. Make sure it's on. Carson's light. All right, we're on. Flip it on and pray to God that it works. <gasps> oh, that's such a good feeling. Okay. So the problem with this Big Mac is, however, it only stays on for as long as the recording. Carson's light. And it flips off. So that's something I'm going to have to work on. But we have made a battery interrupter with a male end of a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable that we're hooking directly to our Big Mac. We used some copper sticky back paper and electrical tape. And it actually works. So I hope this video was helpful if you liked it. Please like and subscribe, and I hope this helped. Thanks.